Hello and welcome to the first demonstration of Viewpoint, the AI-powered screen reader assistant just released by Nibble Nerds. This is meant to work with your screen reader and it really just allows you to access anything that's not accessible. So the big one is user interfaces. It will let you interact with user interfaces that don't normally work accessibly. Um, it also allows you to extract text on screen, and it will allow you to read and get all the text from inaccessible PDFs, so those that are scanned, anything like that. Um, so let's get started here. I'm going to run viewpoint, 20, 1, 33. viewpoint, viewpoint is ready. and I'm running NVDA alongside it. Um, so when it boots up, it's in UI mode. Um, now, UI mode will allow you to scan the screen, find UI elements, and click on them. So I can do it on the desktop right here. If I hit Control shift slash to start it. Generating UI snapshot. It's going to do its thing. UI ready. 35 elements detected. 35 elements. Oh, oh wow. It must have seen like everything on my desktop. OK. And now I can hit Recycle tab. Bin link. Launch much C link. Reaper. X64. EP and link. Accessible YouTube D link. It's going through everything on my uh, link link stuff on my desktop recorder link messages link anti-micro link yeah and i can of course go to the recycle bin here now since we're on the desktop normally if you're using a mouse you double click this and in order to do that with viewpoint you'd hit shift enter it's just a single press of enter will single click it but if i hit shift enter launch much window terminal generating UI snapshot. checking open the wrong thing Hold on. Search edit. Close button. Minimize. Maximize button. Uh, so I got stuck in UI mode here. I don't want to do that. I can hit Control Alt Shift UI slash. Video. Oh, videos. File explore. And Desktop. okay, it looks like it did actually <laughs> fix that. <laughs> okay, but it, that just shows the viewpoint is not always perfect. Uh, let's do something that's not super accessible. G code viewer sixteen. Let's take this slicer two. Thirty print software. All right. Let's pull this thing yeah. up. It's going to. Come up here. Slicer 2.8. App update available. Don't notify. Cancel button. Next button. Update. Cancel button. I don't want to update right now. Slicer 2.8.1 based on slip three. Now, I cannot tab through this at all. GL canvas. GL canvas. GL canvas. It, it won't let me. But I can use viewpoints UI mode. Generating UI snapshot. All of a sudden. UI ready. 19 elements detected. File menu. Edit menu. Window menu. So it sees those menus at the top. View menu. Configuration menu. Help menu. Player button. Print settings button. Filaments button. Printers button. Expert mode link. Login link. And 0.20 millimeter generic PLA list item. Pre-ID enter three zero point none list item. All sorts of percent list item. Other stuff. Checkbox not checked. Slice now button. And it does Room see that's not checked. Not checked checkbox. Slice now button. That's a button. File menu. Now let's say I want to click this file menu. I just press enter. File menu. Generating UI snapshot. It opens the menu and now in viewpoint rebuilds UI automatically. Twenty one elements. File menu. Edit menu. Window menu. View menu. Configuration. Help menu. New project list. Open project list. New project list item. Okay, it sees these as list items instead of menu items this time, but open project list item. It pulled down the file menu. Recent projects list item. Save project list item. So if I click open project, open. Link. Choose one generating UI snapshot. It brings up f open dialog. Now UI I want to documents reader three D print models link search model written desktop downloads document pictures music list videos open button cancel button documents reader cancel button cancel Recent slicer two point eight point generating UI snapshot. And there we go. I'm doing this all with viewpoint by the way. This is not my UI screen reader. Eight elements um, detected. Let's get out of this with Control Shift Slash. UI mode exited. So that's UI mode. Next one, if I hit Control Shift Backslash, OCR is OCR mode. OCR mode is simple. It scans the screen, pulls out all the text, and shows it to you. Uh, I can do it right here, even. Scanning screen. Results Control ready. Shift Slash. Results Videos. ready. OBS. Detected text column. Sometimes you have to Detect Alt text tab into it. Cruise slicer 2.8. File edit window view. Later. Print settings. And Elements. Printers. Enters. Expert. Login. Search. 16. 4 slash 20. 4 slash 20. Grabs all of the text from there. Copy detected text to clipboard. You button. can copy it to the clipboard if you want to. Close button. Cruise slicer 2.8.1. Based on slip 3R. I'm going to close that Desktop software. Desktop list. Cruise slicer. I don't need it. Not so right now. Um, but that's OCR mode. It's very simple. Useful like the on an inaccessible website. If there's an image that you don't know what it says. Things like that. Now, the last mode is probably the one that's going to get the most use. PDF reader. The PDF reader. I'm sure all of us have had times where we get to a PDF and find that it's a scanned PDF and you can't read it with your screen reader and it makes you mad. Well, Viewpoint solves that problem too. <laughs> if we hit Control Shift Slash. Open file dialog file name. File name. Ah, the, the dialog comes up for me. 3D printing nozzle. 
I'm going to take the right native Nexus one note outlook power reaper school sound visual be right be Robinson Braden be Robinson math 180 March 6th 20 there we go rated dot pdf 15 of 16 my math exam from college this thing is a scan pdf I don't like it it's going to think and once it finishes, it takes a while to do this. Text, text dialogue. Edit read only multi-line Braden Robinson exam. Two. Here we go. Wednesday, March 12, 2025. 11. PDF. B. Robinson. New Alpha Italian 18. Math 180. SB okay. 25, page 1. Yep. 89%. I did decently on that exam. Okay. Math 180. Spring 2025. Exam 2. Thursday. 03 slash 06 slash 25. Name. Braden Robinson. Score. Instructions. In order to get partial credit in this exam, you must... And I could go down or down. Now, when it gets to the math, it's ugly, but that's to be expected. Math is... Nah. Copy detected text to clipboard. Again, button. you can copy it to the clipboard. Close button. And close Press. it. Start toggle button not pressed. Um, Desktop list. That's the PDF reader. Very simple but very powerful. And of course, Control Shift backslash o -C -R -P -D -U -I. cycles between the modes. I can hit Control Alt Shift V. Viewpoint settings dialog. API key. Edit protected 39 star. You do need a Gemini API key to get do this, but that's easy to get. And you paste it right there. It'll prompt you for that when you first run the program. And there's a link to get the API key on the viewpoint documentation page. Rescan UI after activation. Checkbox check. The rescan UI after activation, that just asks, that's just a setting for whether you want to scan the AI or scan the screen with the AI after you click an item. So when I clicked on something, it would rescan automatically. And you can turn that off if you want to. Delay before UI rescan. MS edit selected 1000. This is how long you want it to wait before scanning so if something takes a long time to load and you know that you can change that so that it waits to scan longer uh or waits a longer time before it scans to make sure that whatever you're using loads play sounds checkbox check and you can turn off sounds here as well okay button cancel button press desktop list recycle bin and of course the last thing to mention about viewpoint is control shift f4 viewpoint is shutting down it kills viewpoint wonderful so I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoy Viewpoint. I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback, and thank you for watching.